Hey everybody, this is Paul Colligan. We are on Chrome right now. Um, here we are at my website. We'll take a visit to Yahoo, and then why don't we uh, visit our good old friends over at Microsoft. Um, you know, we are using the Chrome browser, so I figured it would be fun to go to the other guys. Um, we've seen the Chrome browser before. Um, we like it, we know it. Um, the syncing, all that stuff's great. Uh, but let me show you something you probably haven't seen before. Okay, everybody, this is Chrome running on the iPad, and um, it's pretty good. Um, it's got all the things we've come to expect from Chrome on the iPad. We've got, you know, new tabs and um, let's see here. Type in the new tab and then you can type in the web address of, let's try for this one, apple.com. Yes, I get the irony of uh, Apple on the iPad through the Chrome browser, but we're going to go take a look at that and it's going to take us out to apple.com. Uh, so far, everything's good. We've got Chrome on the iPad. We've got Chrome on the desktop. Let me show you a couple of features that are pretty cool. Um, let's say I'm here browsing Yahoo, having a great time at Yahoo, and I'm, you know, I wonder what the big healthcare ruling means for me. That'll certainly date this video, but what the heck, it's a good example. And I want to uh, know what this means to me, but I don't want to know it here. You know, I want to know it here on my um, iPad. What we can do simply is we can push it. Um, through this unique extension, we can push it to the um, Chrome to mobile. Now, this is a beta extension that you'll have to install on your desktop if you want to. Send it to Paul's iPad, yep, and we send it to my iPad. And then, if we go over here, you'll notice, give it a second here, um, it goes over the Webernet, and now we've got this article and this direct link uh, pushed to my iPad for my iPad viewing pleasure. And um, again, you know, just like before, I can uh, scroll through, I can do whatever I want in terms of reading this bad boy and going from there. One thing that's kind of interesting, you'll notice that um, we have bookmarks and uh, the bookmarks are synced across all the devices. So right now we've got mobile bookmarks. I haven't put any on here yet, but if we go back to the uh, desktop bookmarks, these are all the ones on my desktop um, running right now. So for instance here, if we were to go to uh, view my bookmarks bar, you can see Squirrel, it's the first one. Squirrel is a service I'm not using much anymore, so watch this. Um, what I'm gonna do is here on the, uh, here on the iPad, I'm gonna delete this bookmark. You see it's deleted. Then if you notice up here, it goes away up on the desktop as well. So we've got syncing of pages, we've got syncing of bookmarks, we've got syncing of a lot of things. Um, this is pretty exciting. I have been a fan of Chrome. It runs clean, it runs nice, and this ability to sync everything and run everything across all of my computers, iPhone and iPad is pretty exciting to me. Uh, they released it today. Go ahead, take a look. Um, you will obviously have to sign into Google to get all the syncing goodness, and you will have to uh, install that Chrome to mobile um, extension. But other than that, it looks like it's working great. Enjoy. Bye.